Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 7 of your bucket plugging tutorials. Uh, I need to rename this actually, I haven't renamed this. So today we're going to be working on uh, more on config. Or using config files, that's what we're going for. Using config files. We're going to be using our config file and the uh, the stuff that we put into it uh, from last tutorial. So all this welcome message stuff. Uh, uh, apologies for the lack of tutorials over the summer. <laughs> it's been a uh, rather hectic and busy, so... Uh, Again, apologies for not being as active as I probably should have been. Uh, but anyway, getting into all of the plugin -y things, we're going to go into our BC Bros plugin here. And the first thing we need to do is we need to work out what we're going to actually be doing with our config stuff. So you see here we have the server admins. So what we're going to do with this server admins thing is we're going to make it so when they do the hello command, it tells you who the server admins are, as well as saying hello or whatever it does already. Uh, and the welcome message. Uh, we're going to send to them when they join the server. So if we do the welcome message first, logically, you know, in chronological order, um, being it, they log in first, what we need to do is we need to make an event when the player joins. So if we go into our player event package, create a new class, uh, call it player join, uh, go into interfaces, click add, and search for listener, double click listener, hit OK, and finish. So it implements listener now. So what we want to do is, first of all, we want to be able to access our configuration uh, whilst we're in this class, but we can only do that currently in this class because we use the get config command uh, we use down here uh, that comes from the Java plugin class. So we need to somehow send an instance of this class into our player join class, and the way we do that is we use a constructor. So to do that, we type public player join, and then we type what instance we want to have, what class we want to have. So we want to have the BC Bros or whatever you've called your main class, and we're going to nickname this PL. Uh, for plugin, import the BC Bros. So this is run when this class is generated. So we now need to make a private the BC Bros um, object that we're going to call plugin, and we're going to set this plugin so plugin equal to PL. So we're going to make so this an instance of the BC Bros is going to be passed in, and then we're going to have it set so the whole class can use it. And the way we pass it in is when we register our command our event. So if we copy this here. We take player chat and we change it to player join, uh, and we import this. In the brackets, we want to type this. So we're taking this class, we're passing it through into here, and we're using it in here. So now, if we set up our event, so at event handler, handler, uh, public void on player join, and it's called player join event, event, like so. So like we've done before. We now want to get our welcome message. So our welcome message is hello welcome to the server. So we want to grab that message. So to do that, uh, we're going to make a string. We're going to call it string welcome message, like so. Now we're going to set welcome message equal to various things. So we're going to say uh, welcome message is equal to plugin. So we're going into our plugin and we're getting the config. And we're going to get the string because this is of the type string. This message here is of the type string. We're getting the string that is called welcome message. So if we copy welcome message, and we put it into our quotation marks and we hit semicolon. So now what we want to do is we want to pass any uh, color data. So you see how this has this and for. That's a color code in Minecraft. Uh, and the way that we pass this through is quite simple. It's actually a, a method that's integrated into the, uh, the, the Java plugin or, or chat color. So at the start of this plugin or get config thing, we're going to type chat color dot. And you see we have this translate alternate color codes. We're going to double click that. We're going to remove everything here. Uh, and actually, and we're going to put a bracket around this first bit. We're going to put a bracket around everything. And we're going to stick a comma at the front. So what this does is it translates the alternate color codes. And it needs a character. The character is what it's looking for to translate. So we're currently looking for this and symbol, which is what most people use. So we're going to hit the single quotation marks, hit the and, and the quotation marks. Then we hit comma and we put in what we want it to translate. So that's going to get the string welcome message. So we're setting welcome message equal to our message, but it's been color coded. And what we can do to make this even you know, more compact is take this uh, and set string directly equal to this as it's created. And then I'll just wrap it around so it makes it easier to read. Um, so that's, that's our welcome message. We now want to get the player as well. So player player equals event event dot get player like so 
Now, what we want to do is we want to um, send the player a message. So, well, not send the player a message. We want to, um, oh, yes, we do, sorry. <laughs> we want to say player dot send message uh, welcome message, like so. And that is it. So that's going to send the player the welcome message. So that's our first thing done. We even registered it here. The second thing we want to do is when they do the hello command, we want them to get a message with the server admins. So we're actually going to change this here. So instead of saying you did the command, we're going to say it says uh, hello, <laughs> makes more sense. Hello, exclamation mark. Hello, player name, like so. And then we want to send them the admins. And again, we don't have access to the config file. So if we go into our register commands and in, in the executor in hello, if we just put this in the bracket, so we're trying to pass in this variable, then what we can do is we can automatically create the constructor up here. So it's made our constructor in our class. Then we can make a little private variable at the top like we did before. So private the BC bros uh, plugin. And we'll nickname this to PL just so it's all the same. And we're going to set plugin equals PL. So just like we did before. So now we want to get all of the server admins. And this is stored in a list of strings. And so the syntax for this, to get this, is list and then the brace, not brace, the um, greater than, wait, less than, <laughs> list string. I'm going to call this server admins, like so. And this is equal to plugin dot get config dot get string list this time. And the string list is called, if we check in our config, server admins. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into our quotation marks there. Import list from java.util, not java.awt. So now we have the server admins. We're going to loop through the server admins and send them all to the player. If you're not sure how to use loops, or in this case a for loop, I recommend going checking a tutorial such as the new Boston or my bring back or someone like that to um, be more familiar with lists and stuff like that. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to type for, not lists, uh, loops. We're going to type for, we're going to list through a string list Wait, we're gonna. It, the what we list through is going to be stored in a string object type um, string nicknamed uh, admin. We're then gonna put a colon, and then we're gonna type server admins to define where we're going to be looping from. So each admin we loop through is going to be stored in this admin, and then it'll go round and round and round. So then we're gonna send the player a message. So we're gonna say player dot send message admin, like so. And at the start of all of this, so before we start looping, I want to send the player a message. So player.send message, and it's going to say the server admins are. Uh, let's put little things around here. So like I said, so the server admins are, and then it's going to send them all the admins. So that's how that works. And if we refresh our whole thing here, we're going to export this. So everything should be working nicely, and I will see you in the game. Okay, so we're in the server, and what we should find is if we join the server, it's going to send us a message. It's going to say, hello and welcome to the server. So we've got that. And then if we do the command slash hello, it's going to say, hello, bench cubed. The server admins are bench three, notch, bench three, bench cubed, and notch. So there we have it. That is our little using configuration. So I'm sure you can. Oh my god! That we should ignore. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so <laughs> I will see you guys in the next tutorial where we won't be doing that, even though it is rather hilarious. Um, uh, we, next tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, inventory uh, and stuff like that. So just adding items to people's inventory. It's going to be a relatively quick and simple tutorial for the next one. Uh, and then we'll be getting into more interesting things, such as stuff like this, uh, I hope. In, in tutorials to come. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any problems, just comment in below and I'm sure someone will help you out or send me a tweet or look on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.